welcome to the Cinema Gold Show. I'm your host, Larry Lease. And on today's episode, we continue our series, Big Bang. First timers watch of the Big Bang Theory. And this week, we are in season two, and we are giving our review of this intriguing yet funny show. But first, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Audible, for sponsoring this episode. If you're a fan of audiobooks from any kind of genre, from mystery to science fiction to political thrillers, check out Audible today for a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook of your choice. Head on over to audibletrial.com slash Larry21. And of course, Poddex. If you're a fan looking to grow your audience and get more engagement, check out Poddex today at poddex.com and use the promo code Larry21 for 10% off your order. And now let's dive right in to season two of The Big Bang Theory. It didn't take long for The Big Bang Theory to become a hit on CBS. The first season quickly found an audience and was an overnight success. Not every sitcom manages to do this. The reason for its success has to do with the people involved, whether it's behind or in front of the camera. The cast and crew have all been part of successful sitcoms. The list includes Eight Simple Rules, Roseanne, Grayson Under Fire, and Two and a Half Men, just to name a few. After the first season uh, proved to be so successful, The Big Bang Theory was quickly renewed for three more seasons. It's not often a show gets that sort of treatment. It goes to show you how confident CBS is with this series. The second season started out with the end of the first date between Penny, played by Kaylee Cuoco, and Leonard, played by Johnny Galecki. Much of the show is supposed to revolve around them. The nerd wanting the hot chick. Surprisingly, the date seemed to go fine for the most part. It was Penny who made a mistake and let college come between them. It isn't very surprising for Penny to think Leonard would become bored with her because she hasn't even graduated from a community college. Penny's way of thinking doesn't really change a whole lot through the second season. Of the cast members, Galecki and Cuoco are easily the two most famous actors. However, I don't have to say that this show put a big spotlight on Jim Parsons, who plays Sheldon Cooper. Leonard's roommate and best friend. Sheldon proved to be the funniest character on the show, even if the actor portrayed, actor portraying him, I should say, isn't receiving top billing. Sheldon's second season was drastically different from the first. If there were really any notable changes, they would be that he was begun learning from a lot of the social interactions that take place between his friends. The introduction of Penny to the mix has undoubtedly had an impact on his little world. Sheldon is still quite socially awkward, mind you, but he is picking up on some of the sarcastic comments made by others, and by season end, he's even cracking a few of his own jokes. Wallowitz, played by Simon Helberg, and Kuthra Pauly, apologies, I can't even pronounce the actor's name, also remain true to their first season selves. They are rarely the center of attention, however. That's my only complaint with them. I'd like to see... Kuth Rapali get past the fact that he can't talk to women without hitting the bottle. The second season showed him talking to guest star Summer Glau while drinking non-alcoholic beer. So we know he can do it. It's just all in his head. It's funny from time to time, but it's also a little ridiculous. One of the things both Wallowitz and Kuth Rapali have in common is funny parents. Mrs. Wallowitz is never ever shown, but there's no mistaking her loud voice yelling at her son for various reasons. It can even be of an intimate nature. She'll yell loud enough for an entire neighborhood to hear. And Kuthra Pauly's parents are real scene stealers. Alice Amter and Brian George, the actors who play Kuthra Pauly's parents, should really be featured more often via the webcam setup we've come to see them from. Wallowitz and Kuthra Pauly may not get as much attention as their friends, but did star in a few of the episodes. Kuth Rapali was featured in People Magazine for a discovery in space, while Wallowitz got in tr- trouble with his own space ventures on more than one occasion. The list of possible NASA-related mishaps for Wallowitz is nearly endless. I honestly can't say the same for Kuth Rapali. The writers haven't come up with very many compelling stories for him. He hasn't been fleshed out any better than the Leslie Winkle character. The season conclusion wasn't particularly well done with Penny at home longing for Leonard to come back from the North Pole. 
as I've seen throughout the show, there is no need to keep these two apart. It wasn't very believable for Penny to keep her mouth shut while Leonard getting ready to leave for the summer. It seems like the writers are unnecessarily dragging the story out. The show won't die if these two should become an item. If there's one area that the show is lacking, it's outside friends. Penny and the guys don't have any regular friends outside of their group. It looked good when a comic book store employee was introduced late in the season, but I have my doubts about the producer's plans to bring him back on a semi-regular basis. Season 2 saw the writers fully embrace the fact that Kaylee Cuoco and Jim Parsons have great chemistry together. Even though their respective characters don't have a whole lot in common, they were put together in some very memorable scenes. Cuoco and Parsons are great in their own right, but when put together, they truly shine. There were many memorable moments in this season, but a few come even close to the last scene in the Christmas episode, the, the bath item gift hypothesis, which had Penny delivering a gift to Sheldon. It was Leonard Nimoy's used napkin, which he also signed. Sheldon's quivering reaction will probably stay with me for you come. Jim Parsons is a right and is reason enough to watch each and every episode. This may be a show about nerds, but you don't have to be a brainiac to enjoy it. So let us know your thoughts on season two of The Big Bang Theory. And as always, subscribe to the podcast on all major podcast platforms and subscribe to the YouTube channel by hitting that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like our video. Hit the bell notification button to be notified of future videos. And if you want to support the show, you can buy us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash cinemagold. Your support helps the channel grow, upgrade our equipment, bring in new hosts, pay them, and create even more content. As always, thank you so much for watching and listening. We will see you next time.